I still can't believe Ness spent all that time poisoned. And literally one fight after I cure the poison, he gets the healing spell that cures poison. My luck. Welcome back to more Earthbound. We've left Threed via a collection of tunnels and fought a mini barf. There's a bomb inside. Uh, Paula, you take this bomb. But now we're in a new outside area. This area is known as Grapefruit Falls. Also, we got more enemies. The new one here being the Red Antoid. It's similar to the Black Antoid, but instead of having life up, it has defense down. I believe I can... No, I'm just going to use Freeze on the frog. Seems like the sensible thing to do. There we go. Good old Rock and Beta. Should just about do the trick. It did do the trick. God, Rock and Beta is great. Okay, it was just a sugar packet. Now that I'm thinking, I don't think any of those enemies had the one had the one in 128 drop of this area. I think that's the last new enemy, which is that. The plain crocodile. The plain crocodile has a chance of dropping the meteornium, which is a very rare item and only serves one purpose. It's for selling, but it sells for a hefty amount. I believe the exact amount is 594. I could be wrong on that. But it does sell for a lot of money. Especially at this point. Paul's level 20. Oh baby, offense up by 3. Oh baby, defense up by 3. Speed up by 2. Vitality up by 1. IQ up by 1. Luck up by 2. HP up by 7. PP up by 5. Jeff's level 20. Offense up by 2. Defense up by 1. Vitality up by 1. Oh baby, IQ up by 3. Luck up by 2. HP up by 15. There's a protein drink inside. As you would expect. Okay, the protein drink is stronger than any of the other healing items we have, but we enter this cave, and there's this. Hang on, let's pick it up. There's a bottle rocket. Give that to Jeff. Because, well, Jeff's the only one that can use bottle rockets. I think eventually I'm going to run into an enemy in here that is new. There's only ever one enemy in these Wow, I didn't run into it. Maybe I'll run into it on the way out. Never mind. Welcome to Saturn Valley. I'm sure a lot of people love this place because of these guys. We feel groove. Hi, ho, me, Mr. Saturn. This place, all are Mr. Saturn. Well, the best part about Saturn Valley is this. The inn is, the hotel is free. Do you want slumber? K.O. I'm going to patch up one more time. I'm going to do this one more time because I think Jeff may have enough to restore an item. No, he doesn't. He still doesn't have enough to do that. I'm actually kind of shocked. But in this house serves as the hospital. This is Dr. Saturn. Dr. Saturn just heals every status you have. Revives anyone who's fallen. Back here, there's three trash cans. Let's see, there's a broken spray can. Let's give that to Jeff real quick. Ooh, Jeff's inventory is actually kind of full. Uh... Sure. Ness, hang on to the ruler. Uh, Ness, hang on to the protractor. Okay. Let's see here. There's a sudden guts pill inside. And there's a protractor. I'm going to pitch this one then. 
Okay, none of those were actually the item I was thinking of. I don't think that's I don't think it's in Saturn Valley now that I think about it. There's a rust promoter inside. Rust promoter is strong on metallic enemies. I wish Jeff had enough IQ to patch up the thing, but I guess he doesn't. That's okay. We look like same. I give you a special thing. Not now, Zoom. I give you on the way back, boing. Bye later. Scary, scary guy, boing. Grateful Falls. Scary, sick, barfy. Go in. La, la, la. Ding. Scary. Base. Secret. Base behind Grapefruit Falls. Password, I tell. Belchman say, say password, then stand still, wait for three minutes. So boing, you have $380, we trade Secret Herb. So boing, you have $1780, we trade Horn of Life. That's just this Mr. Saturn telling about some things in the shop. The Secret Herb is a new item. It can cure any status. It can cure any status the Refreshing Herb can. As well as curing numbness, if you ever if you have it. I'm going to get money out because... Oops, I hit the wrong button. Here we go. I'm just going to pull it all out, basically. Because I'm going to do a lot of shopping. You can buy and sell two. I, Mr. Saturn Boing, can do all for you. What do you want, Zoom? What are you buying, Zoom? Uh, the Bionic Slingshot is another Slingshot type weapon. I'm not doing that. The Great Charm, on the other hand, Jeff didn't have one. Uh, let's sell the Rust Promoter. I'm not going to use that. Oh, you thank. Okay, now next up, a Great Charm for Ness. Perfect. Next up is... Silver bra a silver bracelet for Ness. There we go. Next up, a silver bracelet for Jeff. <clears throat> and the last thing for this guy is the red ribbon. We're giving this to Paula. Uh, what else do I have that I could sell? I do have a defense spray. I'm going to sell that. And... Copper bracelet. Actually... I'm going to sell the Sudden Guts pill. The Sudden Guts pill can only be used in battle, and when you use it, your guts will be doubled. Hi, 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 you can buy and you can sell too? Yeah, okay. Because <clears throat> I want a Horn of Life, for sure. And I want a couple Secret Herbs. So the Secret Herb, like I said, restores everything that the Refreshing Herb can. as well as curing numbness, curing another status we haven't seen yet, which I'll get into later, and rev and potentially, and it has a chance of reviving someone who's fallen with a quarter of their health. Whoops, I wanted to use the, uh, I wanted to, I want to deposit! Hit the right button, me. Okay. The last thing is the Horn of Life is the same as the Cup of Life Noodles. It can cure any of the statuses, but the main use of it will be reviving someone to full HP. Anyway, I want to see if I can... I'm probably going to fix that broken spray can now that I think about it. Yeah, nope, fix the broken iron. After being fixed, the broken iron became the slime generator. Jeff has a new item. The slime generator. I I have a broken spray can. I know I can fix that. 
But anyway, the slime generator, only Jeff can use it. Wow, um, Jeff's having a hard time fixing things. I guess it's random chance, but still. Broken spray can, defense spray. But the slime generator, you use it and it targets a random enemy and solidifies them, or attempts to. The downside is you cannot select which enemy it targets. I'm still going I'm trying to see if I can repair this broken pipe yet. I don't think I can. I'm going to give it one more try, and if it doesn't work, I'm going to skip out on it. For the time being. I'm guessing I can't repair it yet. But, we know of a secret way to get in behind Grapefruit Falls. Why don't we go ahead and go there and do that? Ah, here it is. It is... The Violent Roach. All it does is attack, knit its brow, and attempt to solidify you by spreading its wings and chart. By, uh, spreading its wing? Oh, and it can vent a terrible odor. So it's not a bad enemy to fight. But we're going behind Grapefruit Falls now. Saturn Valley is a great place to try to repair items because staying at Saturn Valley is free. I believe you could also do that at home, but I'm not 100% sure. Maybe? I think you could do it at Paula's house too. But Saturn Valley is reliable and easy to get to. Oh! Why do I have to have two armored frogs? How will this fire do that do against them? Let's give the slime generator a try. Fire is actually pretty good on them. Then something sticky stuck to the enemy. It didn't work on the farm zombie. It attempts to solidify. That's just what it does. And that was a good hit. Ness is level 25. Max HP up by 3, PP up by 2. Now, let us go up here. For good measure, this had to happen. I'm a photographic genius. Say fuzzy pickles. Ness is still the only one to react. But now, we head behind the waterfall, and we head over here. Say the password. So now, we just have to sit here for three minutes. This is a good time to go get a snack, get a drink, stretch, go to the bathroom, do whatever you have to do while you're sitting here and waiting for these three minutes to pass. While we're sitting here, just kind of listening to the sound of rushing water, there's a lot about this game that is still being discovered to this day. And as much as I do seem to know about it, I may be a little bit fuzzy on the 1 in 128 drops. But, as much as I seem to know about this game, there are still things, even now, that I'm still learning. And I'm sure a lot of people can say the same thing. Even the, uh, even the resources that are out there are not, are still being updated 
pretty much daily with new information that's being discovered. It's a very... Like, this is a very detailed game, and with how things are still being discovered, I mean, hell. I learned that apparently the tiny little ghost can get critical hits. I didn't think it... I didn't think it had a gut stat until I just saw it get a critical hit on Jeff. And we gotta be getting kind of close, or maybe I'm just impatient. I don't know. I'm running out of little stories to tell right now. Or just interesting tidbits about this game. I mean, that that can happen when a game requires you to sit here for, well, three minutes and... Do nothing, literally. But I'm deciding to keep the I'm deciding to keep this waiting in because sitting here and waiting three minutes it's a part of the it's a very important part of this game. Everyone needs to experience the waiting that has to be done here. Okay, you may enter. We've reached Belch's base. And next time, we're going to infiltrate it. I will see you then.